What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today is gonna to be a trip down memory lane and I'm gonna be checking out some of my old videos I uploaded here on my channel. Now I'm not gonna be watching some of my old videos but we are gonna be looking through and scrolling through everything that I've uploaded and whenever I come across a video that is very interesting to me that I really enjoyed creating, I will briefly stop and talk about it for a second and then carry on with the video. And of course, I'm gonna be starting with the very first video I've ever uploaded on my channel. So let's get right into it. Okay, so as you can see, I have my YouTube channel up right in front of me here. And by the looks of it, the first video I've ever uploaded was Black Ops 3. This is just the generic title for PlayStation 4. I didn't even title it properly, but less than a minute long. And by the looks of the thumbnail, and this is back before I made custom thumbnails, it looks like on Black Ops 3, whenever the prize fighter boxing gloves came out as a weapon for the first time, I made a quick little video showing, I think, it was my highlights using the boxing gloves because it was very cheap, by the way. One punch got you a kill and it was made no sense. It's just boxing gloves. So very interesting. It was a cool concept. And the next video was the same as me and Mike playing it. I think I was the only one using prize fighters, but that was very interesting doing that. Uh, the next one I see, it uh, looks like it's the ninth video I uploaded. And that is Need for Speed Car Build number one. And this is what really took off on my channel. I started to do these rapidly until they kind of burnt out and I kind of got myself burnt out by doing them. And I'm sure you guys will see in a minute, but that's the first one. I really enjoy doing those because I really like creative stuff like that. I really love vehicles. I love making things my own. In that game, the first Need for Speed 1 2015 had a lot of customization for it. So it was really fun. Um, a lot of Mafia videos, I tried to do some live videos, but my internet isn't the greatest right now. Hopefully that will change very soon, but it was a lot of fun. Uh, whenever GTA 5, the clubhouses first came out, I remember I made this video before I realized everybody's clubhouse looks pretty much the same. You can change a couple things, but it pretty much the same was for everybody. Um, this one here is very important for me. How to turn off music, audio in Black Ops 3 because if you guys make YouTube videos yourself, certain games, the music is what gets the game copyrighted. So this is something I decided to make to kind of help people on how to turn it off because there was no guideline back then at the time of how to turn it off. I kind of had to find out on my own. I decided to share it. Uh, some more Mafia matches, another card build. So you guys can kind of see what I was playing most of at the time, mostly WWE, car build stuff, GTA stuff, and that sort of thing. Let me see what else we have here. This is when car builds took off for me. Number three, number four, number five, number six, number seven, and number eight. All in a row, pretty much. I don't think they were all uploaded the same day. I think the three Nissans, uh, number six to number eight, were uploaded the same day. And that's what really killed most of the views for it. And then, uh, as you can see, I did more. I did some GTA car builds, and then I went back to Need for Speed car builds, because that's what I was getting the most views on. So I decided to do them kind of rapidly, and it kind of burnt out of my channel. But I did quite a few of them, as you can see. They're still they're everywhere. And this is that the start when I started doing my WWE pay per view predictions. They started to do pretty good, but if you can look at this, I'm doing each match individually. Now my uh, pay-per-view predictions, I'm sitting here talking and sharing my thoughts more and it's more in depth and I enjoyed doing them a lot more than I did back then. But yeah, car builds was the number one thing. Certain games like Everyone's Gone to the Rapture, it was a good game. I didn't finish it yet. I hopefully will go back and play it, but it's not a game to make videos on. It wasn't the greatest. Um, first Battlefield clip here, more more WWE prediction videos, my first UFC videos. This was a lot of fun. This is whenever I started playing UFC for the first time. I think Jack and some of the Mafia members back then were really into UFC more, and that's what kind of got me into UFC. Now I'm a huge fan of UFC. So I started to make a lot of videos, as you can see, and started uploading them quite often. Um, it was a lot of fun. <clears throat> Video 100. This is my 100th video. It doesn't even seem like I scrolled through 100 so far, but 
Video 100, me and Jack in a match. That's pretty much all it was. Nobody was really getting on at the time for my videos. I know we'd plan tried to plan stuff and nobody would get on. So for this case, it was just me and Jack that got on for it. Still try to do some stuff. This one is very special for me. Again, this is just me and Jack getting on. This is whenever GTA 5 had their winter map. Uh, not really a winter map. I think this was last year. But they had snow on the map for around the holidays for Christmas, which is very unique. And as a Canadian, I really love when video games can capture this because it comes... It's, it's like home for me and I'm playing it in a video game, if that makes any sense. But again... We had plans with Mafia to make it Mafia-oriented videos, and nobody else that was part of the Mafia was getting on for these videos. So again, it was just me and Jack, but it was still a lot of fun. Let's keep going here. Uh, more WWE, GTA races. This was very interesting. We did missions, as you can see. Holy crap. Vehicle Vendetta number five. We did five of those. That's pretty cool. Stunt races were popular. I really enjoyed doing them. More matches. I used to do dream matches, as you can see here. Uh, Dudley versus Guerrero and Rollins. I don't even re remember doing that match. The Dudley boys versus Eddie Guerrero and Seth Rollins. That's a pretty cool match. I don't even, don't even remember doing it. Uh, Dusty Rhodes versus Samoa Joe. That's a cool one. See, I don't even remember doing these ones. That's what's really interesting. The first Fallout videos, that was for the special, the strength. Uh, I think I missed one, though. I don't know, remember which one I missed. Be able to tell here. Um, it looks like... Yeah, A. I missed the A in special, but... That was what really started me with Fallouts. Even though they didn't get very many views at all. Some didn't even get any views. Uh, my custom paint jobs for GTA 5, I really enjoyed making, and you can get them pretty much anywhere online if you look up GTA 5 custom paint jobs. You can find pretty much anything like this on YouTube, but this is kind of my take on it. I did five. I don't even know how here it got mixed up. Number five was uploaded first, so number five, four, two, three, one. Don't ask me how I did that. I have no freaking clue, because it all was on the PS4 back then. Maybe that was back then whenever you could upload multiple videos at once. Now you can only choose one video at a time to upload, but very interesting. I did like a lot of the paints that came out. My reaction, this, oh, this is my first reaction video. I forgot about this completely. And it was my reaction to Resident Evil 7, the beginning hour, which is, I think, the demo for the game. It was free for the PS4, the demo part. That was pretty intense. That was pretty crazy i forgot i even did that so that i guess is my first ever reaction video on my channel that is very cool uh some more free ps plus games i used to do those once in a while here uh, i think at this point need for speed car builds are dying out oh this game mode here hostile la vista on gta 5 was my favorite game mode but the problem that sucked is i think you needed to have at least I think you had to have four people, and if during the match, if a random person left, the match would automatically end, which is why we never got to play it much, but it was a lot of fun. More UFC, more WWE, that's kind of what I focused on, and if you could tell, this was back before I made videos like this, before I was able to, it was all video game stuff, so video 250... I think this was a triple threat match with Mafia members, and I'm pretty sure I retained it or won it. Because I, I held the championship a lot for the uh, before we went and stopped being um, the Mafia, being a gaming clan. The first Fallout episode, this is where it started it all for me. And I started to do them, and then all of a sudden it, I started to make them too fast and upload them too often. I think it was three of those videos a week I was trying to upload. This is back then also I was uploading like 15 videos a week so that kind of killed the game for me and kind of killed my motivation to keep doing YouTube and I'm glad I rebuilt and kind of rebranded my channel to what it is today because it's easier to manage. It's not making a bunch of videos getting barely any views, it's making and uploading a few videos and getting okay views where I'm kind of proud of where it's been. 
Um, same thing, WWE, UFC, more gameplay, more Fallout 4. Very, at this point, very repetitive. Uh, I started to do UFC 2 career mode stuff. I started to share some of that, which was very interesting. Some funny moments. Jack is immortal. I recommend that one. It's really funny. I'm not sure exactly what it was. Um, funny custom GTA stuff because it was very repetitive playing GTA race modes or playing GTA missions because that's something everybody was doing on YouTube for the game that gamers were doing. So like this one, Mike leading the blind mice. I think that was a maze we did. And Mike kind of found the way before everybody and kind of showed us the way. Golfing on Mount Chiliad was another custom one. So I had, I still probably do, have a bunch of GTA 5 moments on, or custom matches in the game. But I just don't play the game enough anymore. More WWE, more Fallout. Started to do some Battlefield. Here's another GTA Chiliad to the Extreme. That's a really fun one. I'm not sure if it even exists anymore. But I really recommend checking that one out. More of those. They were a lot of fun. That used to be back when the, the Mafia, whenever we did get on, we were having a lot of fun. It was really intenseful. Um, oh, this is when I started. I, I don't know where it began. Let me get that off the screen here. I hate when there's pop-ups. It doesn't say, but uh, the 2017 NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs Finals. I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think this is me playing it on NHL 16. I screen captured it for my PS4 and I uploaded it. So I don't think this is my prediction video yet. I think that comes later on. Of like this past season maybe is when I did it. But yeah, more Fallout 4. It was a lot of the same stuff in different ways, which made it very interesting. And for me, if you can, if you guys can tell, 5 views, 3 views, 16 views, not too many views. But back then, I wasn't doing it for the views. I was doing it to say I've made a video that I was proud of. Because back then, I was proud of these videos. Now, a lot of these videos, I was just, I feel like, I was uploading way too fast, way too many, and it honestly doesn't didn't work out for me the way I originally thought. Like all these view, all these videos are gonna get so many views, but whenever you upload your videos so fast, kind of the same content really rapidly, the views don't follow. So if you upload one video that is the, still the same quality, it does a little bit better, I find. Um, Cormier versus Jones. This is I think UFC two or ufc three that i did that one in i think two um follow episode 26 so we are still way behind right now so i'm definitely gonna have to make a part two this is jack customizing his black fin car and i don't even think he re realized i was capturing at the time until after i did it and i told him very interesting the transformers devastation i really wanted that to be a series on my channel but as you can see, two views for this video. It wasn't getting the views. I did go and finish it on my own and had so much more fun with it. Certain games I find, especially back then, if I played the game solely for a video and I only played the game when I was had time to play, or sorry, I only if I only played the game when I had time to record a video, the game lost meaning to me. The game stopped being fun for me. And as a gamer, I freaking hate that. So now on my channel, Today in 2018, almost 2019, the only time I will record a gaming video is if I really want to. If I think the, the by me recording video for it, like an episode series or anything like that, if I think it's going to ruin the game for me, I don't even bother because I really am focused on trying to enjoy the game and make content I enjoy doing. But if they don't go together and I stop and I don't think making that video is interesting, or if I don't think playing the game anymore is interesting because I brought a video aspect to it, I won't. So, And then, of course, this is the start of Mafia Summer, which did not work out, but it was supposed to be every video after this one that I've uploaded was supposed to be summer-oriented and put into a summer playlist. It didn't work out. It didn't bring the views that I thought it would, unfortunately. 
And we're going to end right now with my Chester Bennington rest in peace video. Now this one here, as I've mentioned before, Chester Bennington is very, it ha he has a spot in my heart basically. And when he passed away, I was deeply saddened. And this video here, I think this was before I started making videos like this. So I think I recorded my audio on my laptop, put it in a video with maybe pictures. I'm not 100% sure and basically talking about it. And this was shortly, maybe within two, three weeks after it happened. So you can kind of see, in a way it felt like I was still grieving, like it was still emotional to me and sad that he has gone. So I made this video and then a year after he passed is whenever I was making videos like this and it's a more meaningful, it has more of a message that video, but this is the first video I did, which started me thinking of making videos like this. I wanted to make videos like this where I can bring my personal life and all of everything that I am interested in, gaming, my collection, videos that I make today, comedy, fun stuff like that. I wanted to bring them to my channel. And I guess this is the first video that started to push me in that direction instead of just a gaming, everything before this was just gaming. And this is the first video where you guys see a deeper meaning behind takedown as a person and not just a gamer, just not a voice for my channel. I'm actually a person. That's why I decided to make videos like this. So I'm going to leave this video here because it's way longer than I thought it was going to be. And I'm not, I don't even think I'm halfway through the videos I've uploaded. I'm at least at the 400 mark, I'm hoping. But I will pick up on this. In the next video, there will be a part two where I go through a lot of my other videos that I have not yet seen. Uh, on this that I've uploaded in the past, but definitely as a look back to where I started my channel, I started with a gaming channel, was a lot of fun, to be honest with you. I really enjoyed everything. Of course, I've come a long way. I've evolved so much and my content, at least in my opinion, is a lot better. But by doing this video, I can kind of see my growth a lot more and it's more apparent that, at least to me, today I'm making videos that are pushing me in the right direction. These videos here helped me lead up to where I am now and where I'm going in the future. And if I haven't done, if I didn't do these videos here, I wouldn't be where I am today, if that makes any sense. But I'm gonna leave this video here. Hope you guys did enjoy. I'll see you guys in the next video, hopefully a part two very soon. And uh, hope you guys did enjoy. Please take care. Peace.